All right, I'm a little bit more nervous than usual today because last episode was really wholesome and nice and, and nothing went horribly wrong. So I feel like it's just saving its load to blow on me. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. Today we have Iron Fist Kettle in Vinland Saga. Iron Fist Kettle referring to the farm owner where we are. Last time we met Sverkel uh, Kettle's father who apparently is, is maybe even has even more, not control over the farm, but say in things. But at the end of the day, Kettle runs everything. And Spherical mostly just um, disagrees with how Kettle runs the farm in terms of giving Harald money for protection. But I mean, what can you do when you've overexpanded like this? You know, hop into this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. It's not Thorfinn and Einar's footprints. While the master's gone, where is Kettle? Oh, thieves! Oh, shoot. And it wouldn't be Einar and Thorfinn. They wouldn't have acted up. Very small thieves. They're gonna set up like a sting operation or something. All right, well, and, and we're kind of setting the, the theme, but it's very interesting that the episode title is named Iron Fist Kettle, but I, I think he's, he's saying like Kettle isn't here. So who knows what we're gonna get into. I hope they're not talking about Thorfinn and, and Einar. I don't think they, they, we haven't seen them steal from the farm at all. Oh my gosh, we haven't or even heard from her in a little bit. The facial hair is growing on me. Yeah, that's a big deal. He's like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be treated that well. I think he's just a good person, to be honest. Yeah, he only sees the good. Mm hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Sparks are flying. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Thorfinn is so just one track mine. Einar, I'm leaving. Bye. Wait, no, he's giving them space. W Thorfinn, at a boy. Wow. <laughs> They're such good friends. Oh my gosh. They're so in love. If anything happened, bro, things are going too well. I hate it. Someone's going to die. She's going to die. I don't know. If anything happens to Einar, I might die. Like, it's actually going too well. He's so happy. Thorfinn's on a good track. Like, we're just... You bitch. Make your own breakfast. <laughs> right on time. Right on time. From the thing. What thing was he at? Bringing guests back. I wonder if he was meeting with Harald since he gives him so much money. Hey, her relationship is none of your business. Oh, God, bro. We were too happy. Oh, the wheat's growing so quickly. They are feeble. They're young, young sprouts. <laughs> He's so intrigued. I love it so much. Mutts? It's like a new world for him, farming. And slowly make money. So they don't have to even cut down the whole forest, right? It's just the more farmland they have, the quicker they'll make money. Let's go! He's feeling motivated because of this conversation with her. Yeah, see, they clear more, they play it double. Make money faster. Is that a slight smirk on his face? Oh, no. Ooh. I wonder if it ends up with him buying Arnade's freedom. Like he pays that met mistress enough. Mm. Pray for the wheat to grow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is some aggressive prayer. <laughs> He's scaring Thorfinn. He said, get down here. Join me. <laughs> Reminds me of the priest from season one. <laughs> Who do I pray to, anyone? Just make sure these crops don't die. These eyes are wide. Please, God! <laughs> you don't have to yell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these goobers, man. <laughs> oh, Kettle's back. He's bringing. Oh, wait. 
Wait, he looks like a younger cattail. What the hell? Ah, uh, no, that makes sense now. Okay. Wait, he looks so different from Omar, yeah. That's why Omar wants to go to battle so bad, because his older brother is like this, this cool looking guy who's probably a warrior. Thorgil. Ah, oh, new Thor. Thorgil. I feel changes a man like Canute. He is a king now. He's a general. Omar would die in five seconds. Yeah, absolutely not. Those are retain. Oh, that's Snake. So Snake is his brother, technically? So Thorgil and Snake. I'm trying to remember all the names. Oh, so they got a good relationship. Look at the fist bump. Why do they keep saying the thing? Just say what it is! Oh, so is Snake even older than him? Oh. Bro, she looks so young. Oh, I thought she was a slave. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh. I was like eight years old. So they were the ones stealing? Aww. They're both so young. Iron Fist Kettle. What's he gonna do? They're children. Just tell them to go away and not come back. Or tell them to go find another farm. Or I don't know. Feed them! Stir. You're giving me way too many names, show. Or Gil. Stir. Ooh, I bet Anar and Thorfinn are gonna find them and free them on their own volition and get in trouble for it. No, they know not to mess, I, I don't think. What a feast! No, you can't tell Omar these things! He's gonna get more excited about going to war! <gasps> oh, would you take him with them? Oh, no. Bro, Omar gonna have like a Thorfinn arc? <laughs> Thor Gil. Oh my gosh, are those ears? Oh hell no! Oh hell no! That is disgusting. Oh my, oh my gosh. That's nasty. Okay, Thor Gil is crazy. Even Snake is like, that's tasteless. I'm guessing he got the Iron Fist nickname from whatever he fought in, in like the war and whatever war he would have fought in. A legend. Yeah, he was probably like ruthless and now he's just trying to tries to be a relatively peaceful farmer. Oh my gosh, bro, he looked like a uh, Bjorn. Where my goat? Well, Bjorn, Bjorn was cool. He was all right. Not the goat. Mm, so he's very famous. He doesn't want to inspire Olmar even more. Oh, Gil! Oh, damn, dude, the whole base! Kento is a very interesting character for me. Yeah, what do you mean take care of those two? What, what's he gonna do? I don't know, Kento I can't figure out. But we're finally learning more about him. Is he like judgment? Is this like their judgment? Oh, I, there's a little bit of empathy. There you go. <laughs> Trying to smile. Stir and Thora. Everybody, everybody has the Thor prefix. Speak in your defense. Mother and a baby. They're probably stealing for the mom and baby. Hmm. Why should be someone we know? Snorri! Not even close to someone we know. He went to sell veggies and never came back! Bro went to get the milk! Snorri. What a name, bro. Bo? You know who they are? Snorri, son of Bo. He owes money on the land he rents from you. Oh, that's why he ran away. <laughs> I knew he wasn't paying rent! He probably just went somewhere else. Oh. Ooh. See, Kettle feels bad for him. I bet other families. Oh, maybe he'll take some. He's about to cry! Bro! But he has so much. Wait, this bitch is his wife? Oh. 
gosh. He might, like, take pity on them and bring their family onto his farm and just have them work. Uh, he gave them an hourglass? Oh my gosh, Snake! <laughs> oh my gosh! They're children! Kettle's like, my family is insane! Both arms, young man! <laughs> yeah! Nah, bro, this is crazy. No, Kettle definitely won't let that happen. Absolutely not. Okay, Snake Snake has some, some empathy, too. I don't think it is. Kettle has to, like, draw the... Yeah, he's, like, scared of his own son. Maybe he sees his younger self in him. Ooh, he feels, like, stuck. Like, he's expected to punish them. <gasps> no. Just give them a light punishment. Ah. Yeah, bro. You cut off both arms. They're not able to do anything the rest of their life. They, they sh he would be dependent on his sister and then his sick mom. Now he has pot hair for leverage to not punish them. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine pot hair's like, let's cut off his mom's arm. Arms. It's gotta be like, yeah, I was gonna say like nine or ten. Oh, uh, yeah, this is what I said they would do. And they barely stole anything. They said that. It wouldn't take that much repaying. Ah, yep, that's what I thought. Grew crops on the land. You went to their father. Yeah, why do they pay for their father's sins, bro? Wow. Wow. Solves the problem. Mm-hmm. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, his face. He can't look weak in front of his son. He, he's like scared of his son. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stand on business. Oh my gosh, this whole family is more brutal than him. Oh my gosh. Snake! <gasps> Bro, they're practically homeless. Oh, dude. I feel bad for Kettle. No, why did you stop at five? Each! <gasps> oh. Oh. No! What snake do it, please? Don't kill this child! Oh my god, he's letting him do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! Swinty! Oh my god, okay, Kettle took it. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. He won't hit him as hard, but this is gonna destroy him. He has to do this 19 times. Oh my gosh. Dude, that, that family dynamic is insane. Probably crying. He sees his father in the same light that he used to be. <gasps> Oh, so he hasn't changed. He just never was like that. Hmm. I wonder how he got such a name for himself then. Yeah. But Snake is more similar to Thorgil than I thought. Dude. Good take. Oh, was that his wife that we saw outside? The mean one? She seems nicer. Oh, no. She 
He's his everything. So she's not just, no, she's never going to be free. He's he's going to cling on to her for dear life. Oh my God. What an episode, dude. That cracks a lot of the dynamics and, and relationships on this farm wide open. Oh man. And I wonder if Thorgil is going to stay here because if he does, it makes me a little bit more anxious being on this farm, but it all depends on if we like time skip or anything, because as soon as winter is over, I'm guessing he's going to dip back out or if he's just stopping in for just a little bit. But yeah, I was kind of surprised by how, how I, I would say a heartless heavy was just because he seemed to be a little bit more empathetic, than, especially than Thorgil, but apparently not. He sees things in very black and light, white, like you did this, you should be punished for this, regardless of what you're going to do after for me, like regardless of them working on the farm after. And I wonder also if these two kids are going to become like sort of regulars as well, if they're going to be Anar, if they're going to make Thorfinn. Could have a, a, a nice little mini cast. I like, like I said, how this season has been just on this farm so we can get really interesting dynamics in a closed space. It's not better or worse than the first season. It's just very different. The first one, we were constantly all over the place, constantly different locations, constantly going from person to person in, in different locations. This, it feels a lot more just like a, a, um, a balloon blowing up bigger and bigger like it could pop any second. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a like on this one and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.